you on this brisk morning. As you can see, I'm out here in my uh, wife baiter. <laughs> and that's because I'm welcoming Mother Nature to the gun show. Yeah, baby. Yeah. As you naysayers can plainly see, <laughs> open those papers and look at this. <laughs> yeah, we sold our first thing of firewood. <laughs> That's right. And to be perfectly honest, though, I'm going to be uh, perfectly transparent with you. When I opened the box, the cash box, to uh, see what they had paid, <laughs> uh, I was uh, totally expecting to find a used condom or a half-eaten sandwich <laughs> or a, a dead rat <laughs> or something stupid because of you morons. But, but it was Gitas. So <laughs> I am well on my way to becoming a firewood mogul. Yeah. Anyways, in the last video, as you well know, I showed you this gigantic, humongous shop that we had absolutely, positively no interest in doing anything with. <laughs> but it was great video fodder. <laughs> and now, Here's some more bull crap I'm about to feed you. So, buckle up. Guess what? <laughs> After crunching the numbers, we're going to build a 110,000 square foot shop right here on the props. Yeah, baby. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you should believe it. You should take everything I say to heart. Okay. <laughs> and we're just going to slap it right on the top of all of our other debt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can hear you now. Oh, Fenster. Oh, you're going to ruin yourself. You're going to bring yourself into ruins. <laughs> you're going to crash and burn. Oh, you know what I have to say to that? Smash and smurm. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Sure. If I was a peon like you, a mere mortal, okay, I would be worried, okay? But I am a financial powerhouse, baby. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have a little more faith in me, folks. <laughs> you gotta, uh, dude, this guy had a little gumption. <laughs> you gotta do things smartly, not dumbly. Okay, <laughs> you got to go for the gusto, swing for the fence. That's right. And uh, you got to have a backup plan. I always have a backup plan. And my backup plan is I will dump DQ and the gimp and the kids. I will run off to Europe and become a male model. As <laughs> simple as that. I mean, why do you think I'm working out so vigorously? Because this thing is crashing down around my ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You got to have a backup plan. Indeed. Okay. Here is a photo that I'm showing you just to prove to you that someone did buy the wood, that I didn't just carry it off myself. <laughs> You're so untrusting. <laughs> So here's the photo. Hope you like it. Suck it. Okay, bottom line here, folks. We're taking these cruddy old woods here. So let's face it, it's just a bunch of ugly old trees. We're converting it into something glorious. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. People are going to come from miles around just to view this place. I mean, they already do. They love coming by and looking at the wood, the uh, wood shed here and my gate. <laughs> but just imagine when I build the shop. In fact, I had a dream, a reoccurring dream, where this man would say, if you build it, 
they will come all over the place. So that's what I'm doing. And it's going to be like an amusement park. You know, it's going to be a, uh, I'm going to charge admission to just come in and look at the shop. It's going to be like the Neverland Ranch of Ohio. <laughs> but that's uh, for future videos. Uh, uh, also in the future, in the next video, I'm going to show you DQ for your viewing pleasure. And she will be putting together racks. <laughs> in fast motion for you. I'm sure it will be glorious and you'll love it. <laughs> so, till next time, keep moving. Keep grooving. Keep pimping. <laughs> and I'll keep on showing you DQ's robust romp. Hasbína Lone Stars Dramedy Network Presentation Dolling.